recording in progress <laughs> how are you shannon i am good i apologize for just having my photo up we're having some technical internet issues so for bandwidth reasons you just get to look at my face holding the squeegee this time around <laughs> gotta love the internet and ours was out for six hours yesterday and i had so much work to do on the computer and i was like uh what am i gonna do so what do right. you think i did <laughs> I like took a nap. Yeah. You know what? Sometimes I needed it. Good. I'm like, I need a nap. So that's what I did. Well, hello, you guys. Thank you for joining us today. I hope everybody's day is going good. I hope you guys are surviving the absolutely ridiculous heat and humidity. It is nuts out there. Crazy. Um, make sure you guys are hydrating tons and tons of water, electrolytes, because, you know, you can drink too much water and then you feel kind of depleted. Make sure you guys are having your owners put the AC on if they have AC or if they don't have AC, make sure you're the first house that they clean. At um, six in the morning. <laughs> at six in the morning. Yeah. Especially in Arizona when it's still 99 degrees at six in the morning. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys just my, my little tip and Shannon's tip is to make sure that you guys are having in your agreement that the air needs to be on for you guys to clean. And I always say, what was your temps? Shannon was like 75, um, 74. It was actually 73 to 75 is what, and, or yep. lower if they could handle it. Have you, um, this is kind of off topic. Did you ever have anyone pass out from not drinking enough liquids? I almost did. And it was because I was so busy trying to get done with my day. And like, I just wasn't focused and I was just trying not to, you know, I was just like, I got to get this done. And I almost passed out. So make sure you guys are hydrating. Right. Heat stroke That's is huge. serious. I've had, so. um two people in my decade Jeez. of business pass out and I, you know, it's, it's awful because you, you know, sometimes can lose bodily functions. If you pass out mm -hmm. the homeowner, Not freaks wood, out. That. yeah, the homeowner freaks out. Then, you know, the a business owner freaks out and then you have to go over there and they have to call the ambulance. It could becomes a whole embarrassing thing that is entirely preventable if you just hydrate yourself. And we're not talking energy drinks to hydrate yourself. No. <laughs> you Mine's need liquid. Mine's water. water. I have right. water and I have lemon. And if you guys don't like the lemon, like the sourness, um, put a hint of vanilla in it and it's delish. Right. So, um, but that's our, that's our tip for today, right? Yes. For like hydrating. <laughs> that's our Hydrate. Janet and Kimberly's health tips. <laughs> you guys didn't know you guys are going to get health tips this morning. Well, today we are talking about back to school marketing ideas. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot believe that it's like back to school already. I'm just as like dreading this day. Um, so I have to ask you guys, cause I, I see parents posting stuff on social media and I have parents that are like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I got the mimosas in the car. You know, we're going to celebrate with all the moms in the parking lot to moms that are sobbing. So Shannon, I have to ask what, is, what kind of mom are you when your kids go back to school? Be honest. I think it depends on where you are in the mommy timeline. Um, when my littles went off to kindergarten and it was the first day of school, I, I cried. Um, as they've gotten older, it's more of a, you know, oh my gosh, I'm just excited. I want a mimosa. Like usually by the end of the school year, I'm like done. And I just want them just because I need a schedule change. Just drop off, pick up, drop off, pick up. You know, and then there's the cycle of illness, non-illness, illness, non-illness, non sports, all that stuff thrown yeah. in. But yeah. um. I, I think I'm at the point now where I could be a celebrator of and have a mimosa. I mean, you know, I, I wouldn't recommend you do that in your car. That could be a whole no, thing. no, not in your car. Outside <laughs> in the parking lot, maybe go meet up at a you know a place. But yeah, I'm I'm one of those moms that balls her eyes out every year, and <laughs> I like. Still? I'm one of those. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> like, I'm adorable. But even like kindergarten to like. Every year, like, cause it's like, wow, they're getting bigger. And I'm like, you know, I'd be, they'd be in fourth grade. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like, they're going to be like in high school soon. And I just think of how quickly they grow up. And now this year I've got my senior, which we talked about, we, we, we kind of brought him on camera. Those of you guys are watching on YouTube too. Um, we brought him on camera yesterday. I'm um, not just right, last week. And he's a senior this year. And I just, I like, tried to take his pictures because I do all their photography. So I tried to take his pictures for his first day of school pictures. And I was like losing it while I try to take his pictures. Um, <laughs> you know, I was his dad. <laughs> I'm like, oh, and by the way, speaking of, remember we talked about he was a mama's boy. Oh, um, right. He totally brought me flowers the other day. 
Like, I, I was saw. out in the garden. Oh, what I, was, I was out in the garden and I was like trimming and again, hydrate because I was out in the garden. It was like a billion degrees and it was humid. And I was trying to get my tomato plants back to, you know, norm, like get them back, you know, cut back. And he comes back and he goes like, mom, I got a surprise for you. And he totally got me flowers. And I like, of course I cried again. Um, but yeah, I'm one of those moms. So I I'm guilty as charged as being, I'm going to be one of those moms. I probably will take pictures when he goes to high school. I mean, college, and I will probably be sobbing at college too. Well, I can tell you, I have a 28 year old and every time my son, like when he moved across the coast and he was living on the East coast, I cried. Mm. Or like, if I haven't seen him for a while and then he leaves and he goes, are you going to cry? I'm like, no, I'm not going to cry. We're not crying. I'm not Mom, crying. I'm like 28. You know, I'm like, oh, always be my baby. He goes, stop it. But it's true. No, I totally get it. So we are thinking about back to school and I don't know about you guys, but Back to school marketing is huge. Um, it's great opportunities to get your feet wet, get your business notice. Um, and there's a list of creative things that Shannon and I have done throughout the years with our cleaning companies. And we're going to share them with you guys today because we want you guys to make money because you guys are probably freaking out like, oh my gosh, they spent all this back to school money on supplies. Yes, they did. But there's other opportunities to make money. So Shannon, take it away. What is the first one? Oh my gosh. Um, I think the very first opportunity you should take advantage of, um, and it's usually offered by the PTO or your local chamber if you're in meetings, um, we have a huge teacher appreciation day. It takes um, place at one of the Christian camps up here in the mountains and like every teacher in the district I, I have seen, it's packed and it always rains on that day. I can never figure out why it's in September. <laughs> It's, it's not like a light sprinkle, it's a torrential downpour, and then you have to trek through the mud. I mean, it's a whole dynamic, but Teacher Appreciation Day is a great opportunity mm -hmm. for you to get your name out there. You can um, pay to have flyers put in all the teachers' bags. Um, you will have to supply the flyers, and every cost is different. Sometimes it's 100 bucks, sometimes it's 300 bucks. It depends on your district, but it's a great way and an inexpensive way to get your name out there. I highly recommend that if you do make a flyer that you put a coupon like $50 off your first initial cleaning, kind of try to get them to buy in mm -hmm. to um, what that is. So make sure your ad copy sticks and that you're giving a call to action in your flyer, not just, yeah. hey, I'm here. Um, you have to have a call to action. Um, I know something that we do for the schools here for Teacher Appreciation Day or like the week. Um, they have this cart and it's, and those of you guys aren't, like listening, I'm like actually pretending like I'm pushing a cart. Um, and they have a cart and they've got all kinds of snacks and goodies and drinks and like candy and just goodies like fruit. And you can like sponsor a cart and they have different carts for the different, you know, different things. So like you could sponsor the cart, you know, for that day. And then they put your name on it and they walk around with the cart and they have the goodies. So you literally pretty much pay for the items to give your teachers. And that's what they do here. And I thought that was a cool idea. I haven't done it that's yet. Awesome. I haven't done it yet because I do a lot of different sponsorships right around that same time. So my budget's right. already done and spent for for that time. What's the cost for something like that at where they're offering it for you? It's 150. Um, it's not bad at all. And it's worth no. it. Um, and you know where the money's going. And it's a great way to build relationships in the community and get your name so, out there. The trust. That would be 150 plus snacks, right? No, that's including the snacks. So you pay, oh, much wow. pay for the food. Yeah, you pay for the food. Like you pay for the snacks, which is a gong a deal. And I should just do it. I just I just need to budget for it next year. Definitely. But that's a good one. Yeah, no, that's it's always that is a good one. And then you know, those teachers, they always need help trying to, you know, because they have to plan for the whole year right before the school starts. Mm -hmm. So, you know, depending on your district, it, it's a great opportunity for you to pick up some more clients for sure. Um, oh. And then a, another one is what we have school sponsorship. Yeah. School sponsorship. That's actually a great, it, because the money's going direct. So you're actually donating cash is typically how it works into your own, for your very own child's school. So at least, you know, that the money's being spent locally. It's not being given to a, you know, a non-for-profit entity and then filtered out and distributed 50 times. It exactly. literally is like from me to you. Right exactly and I like you said you've done banners before and I've done banners before and it's a great way to have your banner up again 
um, a lot of you guys need to remember that it takes a good, what do they say, Shannon? It takes like a good 20 times, 20 to 30 It's increased times. a lot. It used to be five, then it increased to seven. It's I think it's lot. nine and then it's 12. But it's, um, and what we're talking about is when you do drop off and pick up, you guys will all hear me reference how I have to drop off and pick up. It's a six hour window, but it's the parents, who, it's the same parents who see the same sign day after day. Yep. So it's great, cheap marketing. If your school does it, not every school does. And it's usually $500 plus for the year, plus the banner. So, uh, you know, you can go right to Vistaprint or some other entity and get your business name and your phone number and your website. Don't make it too complicated. Make it really simple. Yep. I've even done one where it just said house cleaning and I had my phone number and my web address on there. I didn't put anything special. It was red and white. It stood out there for the whole like year. And then at the end of the year, when we pulled it down, it was actually, um, it broke in pieces like crackers because I'm in Arizona. <laughs> so Good old Arizona sun. Oh yeah. It was a little leathered by the end. <laughs> and so you know what? I would ask. Definitely. Yeah, and you know what? If you guys think about it, $500 and you take that divided Sorry. by, let's see, I'm trying to figure out math. People do not go down my, I'm trying to help you guys for math. So if you think about that, that's $500 and you divide that by how many days is school? How many, how many days do you think is at school? Uh, what is it? Nine, 18, 27 weeks. Uh, so what is it? 500 is that divided by how many days do you think? Um, just an estimate. Like what is a hundred and I don't know, 200 and some days. Uh, yeah, it's not a lot of days, but it's, if you're, if you're driving by it, like five days a week, right? Right. Yeah. So I five times. I took two hundred, just an average. It ends up being like two dollars right. and fifty cents a day, you guys. Less than a Starbucks. Less than a. Okay, we keep. We got. We're not promoting coffee. Starbucks, We're not but you know. Star. other, it's it's cheaper than going to get a soda, a large soda or something. But yeah, right. it's it's it breaks it down. If you guys break it down, the cost it's not that expensive. And you think about if you get one job, so like let's say they call you up and you get that job for that day and you go clean for that day, like that's, that's $2 and 50 cents. And then you just made what, 180, $90 for that day. That's right. worth it, you guys. So, and I've seen them at sports. So you can do like sports to so sponsor the, like the high school. Um, they do a thing every year where you can sponsor to have your signs put up. You can do, um, on the shirts, um, for the snack table for, like, they have different things and it's, it's affordable and you get your name noticed and it's a great way to do that. You guys. Definitely. And um, then there's, you know, the, the potential and you guys always hear us talk about social media, social media, social media, I actually listened to an interesting podcast yesterday about storytelling on Instagram. And she had an interesting insight as to why you should do stories. It, it, it was an hour and a half long podcast, um, but sharing your blog posts and helpful tips um, about how to clean your home and yeah. boost productivity. Most of us moms are frantic and, you know, we just look at our house and go, oh my God, <laughs> it's, it's either going to get done today or it's not. So, um, organizing is a great way, <laughs> um, to help the space be useful for studying homework, cleaning up the kids room, toy purge. We just did one here. Um, because we have more than a lot of others. So um, we are going to be giving that to the thrift store. My kids don't even play with half the toys they have. And I'm tired of managing them and I just don't have time. So um, that's funny that you said helpful. that. That's funny you said that this morning because I literally said the same thing this morning when I walked downstairs and I was like, because I haven't had time. And I was like, oh my gosh, my poor house. It needs to be clean. I'm like, the kids, the kids. And I have teenagers and an adult husband. So yeah. Um, yeah, I was thinking that same thing, Shannon. That's so funny you're saying that. Because I right. did that this morning. Like it's time to it's time to purge. And then um obviously now that the cooties are starting to come in, the sanitation you know. tips um are gonna be really helpful. Pure Evergreen is a great product to have. Um, if you're trying to kill germs, you just have to follow the directions on mixing it correctly because you need to use distilled water. But mm -hmm. it if depending on the dwell time, you can use it for sanitation. Mm -hmm. Um and I've Barking. heard of it being used for multiple things. Please test in an inconspicuous area first. And um, I'll be doing videos soon. Like today's my video day. So I'll be posting videos on how to mix stuff properly. But definitely, you know, it's, we all give extra supplies to the schools. I mean, it ends up costing an extra, at least for us, it was 225 bucks this year 
of extra supplies per kid. And then, you know, we, you know, then you, then there's lunches you have to budget for. So I had to fill up the lunch account. It's a, it's an interesting dynamic that we live in, but yeah, it's the, the Clorox wipes. I'm like, well, hopefully the kids aren't handling the Clorox wipes. Cause hopefully they're you know. not allergic to it. Right. <laughs> it's just That's like, me. <laughs> I like, if somebody wipes down the table, like I could always tell if I go to a restaurant or if I go somewhere to like a place to eat and they use some kind of like Clorox wipe or some kind of cleaner. And I put, you know how you put your arms on the tables, right? I literally break out in hives. So what I've done is I've taken my um, Swedish dish cloths that I sell and I soak them. I have like a little, I get a baby wipe container and I empty it and clean it. And then um, I put like my uh, Swedish dish cloths in it with my cleaner, like, you know, already ready to go. And so I squeeze it out and I wipe down the tables a lot of times. And then I put it in a baggie and reuse it trying to think of who does that frequently i think oh it's chick-fil-a if you go into chick-fil-a they don't even use um towels they have these disposable wipes they use mm, to yes the i saw that so yeah be really careful and you know you know give a gift of natural too for these parents i mean for these teachers definitely so um, the cooties are around i cannot wait like just to see what's coming up next like deep cleaning the light switches is my big thing i always do that Definitely. And then, you know, you can always create a visual. Um, what do they say? A picture yeah. or they say a picture, say a thousand words, or I think that's, I think that's what they say. A picture, say a thousand words. Um, having before and after pictures, you guys are huge, 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 huge. Um, when I go do my farmers and markets and events for, you know, my pure products and not, not just my cleaner, but for all my products, um, I show them pictures of what pure evergreen does and they are in awe. Like they look at the pictures cause I could try to sell them on just talking about it, but visual is a lot of people are visual. And so I literally will put my phone up and I will show them pictures of what I've cleaned and they're in awe. And that's what the game changer is. So having the before and after pictures of study areas, like where parents can study to show the peace that it can bring. That's huge. Definitely. And then, and then obviously if you're taking pictures, there's yes. the legal aspect of it. So we're going to touch on that just to cover yourself. Um, and, and one of them is getting a media release uh, and that can be added into your onboarding paperwork. It says initial here for just to let you know, we take before and after. And then as a side note, because this may not make sense to you now, if you don't have children, if you yeah. have homes that have children, no personal photos, Exactly. identifiable items, pieces of antiquity. You don't want to do that just because you don't want them to get robbed and you don't want anything to happen to the littles. You just don't know nowadays. We're just exactly. kind of a, it's just kind of a scary thing. So just make sure that you are being diligent and that being you respectful are to those parents too. being respectful to the parents that you're not, you know, giving anything identifiable pictures, those types of things. So if you're going to take a photo of the room, just, you know, place the frame down and then take the photo and then put the frame up right. um, my, is my, usually the workaround for that. My ring light just died on me. <laughs> so now it's all dark. So I look like I'm sitting in the dark, which I am. I'm in the basement. So it's my hideout. There's no sun down here. Um, yeah. So um, email marketing is huge. Um, building an email list is very important to do, you guys. So there's lots of ways that you can do email list. You can do it through your CRMs. You can do it through events. So if you guys go do events, collect emails, give them a reason why. And they have to give, I have something down that says you are agreeing to receive emails. So you need to make sure you have that because that is like the new law. Right. And, you know, some platforms don't like certain emails. Like uh, someone gave me a hotmail at email address the other day. Well, I started laughing because I didn't, who, who uses Hotmail anymore? And if you do, I, I apologize. I'm not trying to personally attack you, but it's some of the newer technology AOL. doesn't like the, yeah, some, some of the newer technology doesn't like the older technology. It mm -hmm. just won't read it. Right. Yeah. So make sure you're collecting the emails and why, why, why emails you're asking. Emails are a great way for, again, if we want to go back and, you know, go back to the part where you talked about blog um a blog post and helpful tips i can't talk that is a great way to send those through the emails because you want to provide something that has a value so right. 
don't just send them constant ads like buy this or get this now or whatever. Give them something that gives them value. What would make them want to open that email? Um, Usually like 10 tips to mm -hmm. prevent your family from getting sick or whatever, whatever it is you're thinking of. It's really easy, especially with AI. I mean, half the time you can just have AI pop it out for you and make sure you change some sentences to make it yours. And um, boom, it's, it's really easy peasy. It doesn't take two hours to write one article anymore. You can do it in five minutes or less. And you should really be gathering your email addresses. Like when people call me, uh, this is how I say it. I'm like, would you like to be added to our email list? We give out coupons and discounts. You'll be notified, blah, blah, blah. And they say, Mm -hmm. oh, you give out coupons. Oh yeah. You give out coupons and boom, you know, that's an easy beat in. So yeah, that email marketing is going to be huge. And I will tell you that when I do my email marketing and I send out my drip system, um, then, and what a drip system is just for you guys that are still too new to it is that I send out a thank you. And then I said, Hey, I'm checking on you. Or if they haven't bought from me for a while, then I send them an email that says, Hey, we missed you. Um, so that drip system is huge. So if you guys can get that set up, you know, do it and make it, make it fun. I do like knock, knock jokes. I tell a story. People like that stuff. Switch up your emails. Yeah. This um, next one's my fun one, Shannon. It's having a good email funnel. Once you get it set up, it can be evergreen. Like when people sign up for Castle Keeper, um, not Castle Keeper, Clean Freaks University. That's Castle Keeper is my old business. Um, You actually get, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's not automatic process. I'm still working on that. But when um, someone goes through and does add you into the system, it sends you um, an actual link to the free product. So it, it makes it fun. And then sometimes people actually respond back to the email. I'm like, oh, they Lord, do. someone responded back. <laughs> they do. Like I've gotten responses back. I did getting to know our staff and you guys can do that if you have a staff. And I had fun things like fun facts about our staff. So like I would, we would interview each person and we would do like fun facts about them. And I loved it. I got a response for Veterans Day. I did a whole um, email just talking about, you know, the vets. I talked about my dad serving and I put up old pictures of my dad when he served in the military. He was a medic. And let me tell you the amount of responses that I got back in emails, like responding back to me were awesome. And they loved that. So don't just make it about selling. Grab, we, we, Shannon and I were talking about bringing that relationship in and creating a trust is huge because right. you want to get them to know you. They're part of your family. Definitely. And I I think that, you know, sometimes we forget that social media is really about making connections and relationships. Mm -hmm. I know we've monopolized it and made it all about business. I buy stuff off Facebook. I bought something the other day. I remember the first time I did purchase something off Facebook. I was like, am I going to get it? (laughs) Right. What's going on? It it showed up thankfully, but you know, it, you just Mm -hmm. never know. So it does, um, it does take some effort to put in some, posts that you're going to get responses for but your email is your list right they could take away and you guys have heard me say this i'm on my soapbox we don't pay for the billion dollar algorithms for google or facebook or instagram or Mm -hmm. any of those things or the ones i've forgotten tiktok they pay for it so it's a free platform that they allow us to use so that means we're part of the product but they could take that away at any given day your email list is yours so if hypothetically thinking if the internet went down or went down and came back up and Facebook was gone, would you have an email list to market to your clients to? It makes it really, I mean, it makes it easy now with Facebook. In the old days, you had to do ad copy. You had to hire an ad agency and they would get excited if you had 50 grand and you had no idea if it was going to stick or not. It was yeah. all random. And they had teams of teams and teams and teams of people all thinking about your ad. And they, then they would show you, I mean, it was a whole presentation dog and pony show where now everybody's DIY trying to figure it out. You pin on Pinterest, which is a huge, um, search engine. So if you guys don't know that Google and then pin, um, Pinterest are the two largest search engines in the world. So, um, make sure that you're capitalizing on those opportunities. And something too about which, which is not on our list. We do an outline every week because my ADHD is all over the place and, you know, we just, we like to keep it organized, but one of the things that's not on the list, Shannon, that I was going to mention too, is get involved in your community. Um, right. for, that's important. uh, you know, joining the chamber is huge. I'm in part of two chambers getting ready to join another one because when you go 
get involved and be involved because again, getting your name out. Another one is, um, you know, networking groups and they don't have to always be paid networking groups. There's networking groups out there that are paid. Um, but I go to a lot of networking groups and those parents probably have kids. And that's something that you can market and put together a cute little basket of like a giveaway. So I do a giveaway for like, I donate some stuff and I do a giveaway. So if you do a giveaway, put some of your things in there and maybe, you know, we, we talk about coupons, offering it to the right people. So maybe you could say something like on your third clean, you know, get $50 off or something. Um, and that's a great way to that. I know that wasn't on our list, but I think that's a great way to, you know, get your name out for schooling. Definitely having, um, and for those of you who don't know, uh, most chamber of commerce, junior chamber of commerce will allow you to go to two meetings for free before mm -hmm. they make you pay. So what you yep. can do, the pitch is, is I want to attend this to see if it's a good fit for me and go twice, bring your business cards and be ready to market. Yep. Um, the people who actually run the chamber meetings aren't going to necessarily be your ideal client, but they're going to be the mm -hmm. key holders who, who know, right? Oh, I, my gosh, I met Connections. Kimberly who um, had a cleaning company and da, 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 here's her card or here's her information. She gave it to me the other day, but those are the people who they're going to connect you to. So really building those and establishing the relationships. I mean, we get asked a lot about commercial cleaning, commercial cleaning. Yep. I want to get commercial cleaning, but no one wants to go and hit the ground running, right? It's like, it takes effort to build relationships. Build relationships. You might've heard me say you know, I got several really large jobs just because I happened to randomly show up at a chamber meeting. They're like, oh, I remember you. They're the cleaning lady. <laughs> um, just because we had spoken for two minutes, like nine meetings back. Right. So you just you never know when those opportunities are going to be there. And then also, too, you know, not only commercial cleaning, that's something I'd seen in the group. One of the groups that I'm in was that it's not only just the commercial cleaning. A lot of those people that you guys are going to go when you guys go to the chamber of events. Those are business owners. They own right. their business and they might need their house cleaned. So not on top of, I've done that a lot of times where I would not only clean their business, but I would clean their house. Right. And it's a great way to think about it. That's like a double whammy. You like just killed two birds with one stone. You just got two, you know, like a client for both two jobs that are money makers. Right. It's like, bam. It's a my, great opportunity. So if you are looking for commercial properties to do, you need mm -hmm. to make a flyer and you need to go. I mean, you can, I, I see people go, oh, I'm going to send out emails. I look, I get 9,000 emails every single day. I skim. I'm not going to, unless you have some sort of connection with me, I'm not going to look, I'm just going to delete it. I just don't have the time. Yeah. Um, and that's probably the same way with everybody else. At least that's my mentality. But if you go face to face and you make that human connection, you yes. just never know when the next opportunity will be. And I know sometimes you guys, and some of you I know are still very shy, um, <laughs> but you're going to have to practice, you know, practice your elevator speech. And when people ask you what you do, um, and I give this, uh, this little story and I've mentioned it before I was in Walmart and this was before COVID, like probably 2018, I was buying supplies before I ordered everything off of Amazon. And this woman goes, mom, look, she's got all this cleaning supply. And she goes, oh, she's a cleaning lady. And I said, no, I'm not a cleaning lady. And I'm still loading my cart onto the thing. This is before when we actually had still checkers back then. And she goes, <laughs> oh, well, maybe she just cleans a lot of houses. And I said, no, I, I don't clean a lot of houses. And she goes, oh, well, she just maybe cleans her house a lot. And I said, no, I'm actually a cleaning business owner. <laughs> Here's my card. If you ever cleaning need business me. owner, right. Cleaning business owner makes a big difference than just a cleaner. And I'm not putting you yeah. down. If you're just a no. cleaner, I'm just saying that that was the definition. I was just a cleaner to her, in her mind. And in actuality, I wasn't even on her radar to be a cleaning business owner. Cause why would I be buying all those supplies? Right. Yeah. But when you go market yourself, you don't want to just say you're a housekeeper and you're a yep. cleaning business owner. You own a cleaning company. So, so really make sure your you elevator you speech. Exist. Yes. <clears throat> we should do a whole just podcast on elevator speeches. That'd be fun. That would actually be fun. This next one. Oh my God. Oh, we got stories. Um, this next one is dorm room cleaning. Oh my gosh. And I put beware in our notes really loud. Be aware. It's like, guys, I'm just telling you right now, any of y'all have done dorm room cleaning, you understand the pain. Those of you <laughs> newbies, watch out because it is scary. It, it can be. You, you come across things that you are just horrified to think that these are young adults. It's just under really, the bed. You're like, oh. Yeah, no, it's a... Uh, 
it's it's wild it's it's amazing how how much stuff accumulates with these young adults who have never been out on their own um you know clearly overindulged by their parents at home and then they're out on their own trying to figure it out and it's just (laughs) it's scary the kitchen the bedrooms like there's an endless amount of clothes um you know it's I did a dorm room and the parents all chipped in for me to clean the girls dorm room and I was like I walked in there and I was like oh my gosh and it was a lot of work but I made really good money because I charged because when you do dorm rooms, a majority of the time, I don't know, what percentage would you say, Shannon, do not clean up for the dorm rooms? 99.99999% yeah. <laughs> yep. will not clean up. So just know that if you get asked to do a dorm room cleaning, you guys, charge for the pickup. Charge for the pickup. I'm going to tell that again because you guys need to charge for the pickup because you will be picking up and you will be picking up for a straight hour and a half. I'm not joking, you guys. Right. The things that I picked up were ridiculous. Um, and make sure you understand what the protocols are for colleges. A lot has yep. changed since COVID. Sometimes you have to check yourself in and out and then walk across the campus to the other side where the dorms are housed. That Make sure you're adding mm-hmm. in your time. Sometimes you can't use, um, we used to clean the, we have Emory Riddle here, um, the Flying University, and then we have Prescott College which is, um, it's, it's basically create your own college course is what I did, but they're very, um, they're L E E D certified. So for those of you who don't know, that means mm-hmm. that certain chemicals cannot go on the drain. They have a certain certification standard that they had to pass with yeah. United States government to be considered L E E D. So make sure you, if you're going to take on a project that you need to understand what you're doing so that yeah. you don't ruin their certification. Cause they have to, they get special funding because of it. Um, there's special chemicals that you can and cannot use um, because of the certification. Yeah. And and Kim is right. It's disgusting. Sometimes you just it's go, so oh my God, I have to glove up. And it's just, and I'm going to be frank here and kind of gross. It's the most boogers you will ever come across in your entire life. And it's like they girls- pick and wipe and pick and wipe and pick and wipe. And you're like, oh, no. And then that, and then girls dorms rooms with the periods and Oh my God, that's just gross. No one teaches their teenage kids to like wrap those things and put them away. (laughs) It's just disgusting. Nobody, oh, there's blood everywhere. I'm like, no one wants to sit on the toilet after you, you bled everywhere. Clean it up. No, hair dye is another uh, one I've seen, like constant hair dye. Um, Mascara on the mirror. Yep. Oh, toys under the bed, like uh, fun toys, we could say. Oh, Uh, (laughs) some, uh, some surprise toys, we could say. I hope you guys know what we're talking about. <laughs> I've seen those too. Yeah, but yeah no, you that's never know. Wild. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys are definitely charging enough. Again, the products that you use, um, a lot of the college dorms that we would clean would be up in Boulder. And it was because we did use natural products and that's, you know, was a huge thing. Obviously Boulder is very, very um, high end. It's very natural. Um, they have a lot of stipulations and rules. So charge a lot I want to say and that's I did that house I want to say I mean I did the dorm room I'm gonna say I did the dorm room maybe six years ago and I charged I think it ended up being like a thousand dollars and that was like six years ago so right that was good money like now I'd probably charge like two grand at least so it, it really is crazy but it is an opportunity if you're into money. that Definitely. You're cutting out a little bit there, but yeah, if you wanted to clean dorm rooms, make sure that you get a specific list of what is required to be cleaned. Um, Sometimes it's high traffic areas. Other time they want individual rooms Um, with Prescott college dorms. They cohabitated, which was an interesting dynamic for sure. Um, And then because it was set on the, the solar panels and the air conditioning were set on the timer and the phase of the sun um, it was an automatic thing. So sometimes it would be really hot when we were cleaning, even though it should have been cool. So make sure you're prepared for stuff like that. Yeah. Well, we hope you guys endure, enjoy, can't, uh, <laughs> I hope you guys, I'm drinking water, no coffee. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed our podcast today. It was a little shorter than usual, but we just wanted to touch on some of these points. It's a great way for marketing. I love marketing. I jump at any chance to get creative marketing. Cause I think it's huge. So I just, I don't know. We just really enjoyed doing this one. I think definitely it was fun. So, 
Well, we hope you guys have a wonderful day and enjoy. Stay cool. Again, drink water, hydrate, Definitely. electrolytes. Mm -hmm. um, and we will be back next week for some more adventures. And we are looking for sponsors. Isn't that right, Shannon? Yes, we were discussing this the other day. So if that is something that you as your own business want to be advertising, um, our reach is getting larger as our audience grows. Um, please reach out. And it's cleaning business life. Let me see. Cleaning business life. <laughs> at gmail.com. At gmail.com. So and um, if you, or you could just private message me or Kimberly and we can uh -huh. get you um, all of the details, but we have a three tiered system. Um, mm -hmm. If you are a corporate entity and you're listening and you want to do a sponsor, that's a whole different deal. Please reach out. Yep. We're still interested in that, but we're, we're looking for a good fit for both sides. Right. So we need a good fit for you. We'll be interviewing you all. Yeah. <laughs> Just to make sure that it's a product that's cleaning related or um, in the cleaning industry that benefits all of you all. So Definitely. you guys take care and um, thanks so much. Sure, yeah. And subscribe. Make sure yes. you guys download and share, 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 share in cleaning groups. You guys, if you guys are, you know, are just thinking about it, just sharing cleaning groups, you guys, we want to help as many people as we can out. So thank you guys. We hope you have a beautiful, blessed day. Thank you for coming and tuning in. Take care. Bye. Bye.